Jill is getting her wings this morning, hanging out at State's Art Smith Aero Center, uh, learning all about aircraft and how to build them. Jill, it looks like a lot of fun there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun and a lot of really cool machinery here, and we're going to be talking about it. We're actually going to be able to uh, learn how to fix some of these airplanes, which is really cool. Uh, but first things first, I'm being joined this morning by Lisa, who's the academic chair, initially a student, an instructor, and now the academic chair. So you actually went through the program. Uh, tell us a little bit about the program that's offered here at the Aero Center. We actually have three programs offered here at the Aero Center. Mm -hmm. One is Aircraft Maintenance Engineer Technology. That's a two-year diploma program. Mm -hmm. And then we have the avionics technology program. That one is also a two-year diploma. And then we have our one-year aircraft structures technician program. Okay, fantastic. So where we are right now, this is the hands-on component, right? Yeah, we're standing in the hangar. So we have a multitude of aircraft here that students learn to maintain, mm -hmm. uh, learn how to fix. They'll work on engines. They'll work on navigation, communication equipment, autopilot equipment. Cool. So upon graduation, what kinds of jobs would students be getting? Well, a student leaving our program would uh, go straight into industry and begin to, as a learner, to work on the aircraft out in industry under supervision. Yeah. And then after about two and a half years or so, they would apply to Transport Canada for an aircraft maintenance engineer license, which would, would give them the authority to sign out an aircraft. Okay, wonderful. There is an information session here tomorrow. Yep, we're looking forward to it. 6.30 here tomorrow night. Uh, anyone who'd like to find out about any of our programs are welcome to come, ask questions, and uh, find out more. Wonderful. What initially attracted you to the program when you enrolled as a student? Uh, to be honest, I wanted to be a pilot, and then I thought if I took the avionics program, I would uh, learn more about the aircraft than the other pilots, and I'd get a job. Yeah. And But you never know what opportunities are out there once you get going and get that diploma, and now I'm here as the academic chair of the aviation program. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how competitive is it for students who are interested? Uh, it's it's not too bad actually. Uh, we're looking for students that are passionate about uh, being in the industry and and want to be here at SAIT and want to learn and want to be engaged in the program. Mm -hmm. And that's so that's our that's the main thing we're looking for yeah. in potential students. Do you need to come in with a mechanical background? Uh, no, we'll teach you uh, the difference between a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. There you have it. I don't know the difference between a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. I think I've seen a flathead screwdriver maybe <laughs> once or twice. Thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, we'll be learning all of those things here this morning at the State Aero Center, Tara. I think I even know the difference between a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. But we'll see. We'll check in with Jill once again. But now